A role play is an opportunity for a student to learn by applying the concepts and principles that they have uh, mastered within the classroom uh, to a simulated real-life situation so that they can see how these different concepts and principles play out uh, when they're put into action. Uh, in, it, in essence, um, brings life to the concepts and the principles in the class. Uh, just as an example, uh, I teach compensation and pay systems. Uh, and I use a simulation that, that I developed, and uh, it essentially allows the students to put themselves in the role of consultant. In fact, it requires them to be in the role of a consultant. Uh, and in that process, they have to develop a complete compensation strategy for a company. Uh, and at the same time, they have to go on and uh, implement that compensation strategy. There's real market data uh, in the simulation. By the time that the uh, simulation is done, they will have developed a complete compensation uh, system for a simulated company, including pay grades, pay scales, dollar values per, uh, for each of those jobs, uh, all of those kinds of things. Uh, and at the same time, they will have you know, reinforced the concepts and the principles uh, and, and have understood really how they, how they work in real life. Uh, and in my view, there's three things that make a class successful. Okay, one is a partnership where the students see themselves as a partner with the uh, instructor who serves as a consultant to uh, help them achieve their, their goals. Uh, the second is engagement, uh, where there's material that they can find uh, interesting uh, to engage with. And the third is participation, and that's where uh, the simulation comes in with all three uh, of those aspects. So the simulation helps them um, to uh, apply the concepts that they've, uh, that they've been trying to understand. Let me give you a, a specific example of how I use my compensation simulation. Uh, first of all, it uh, goes over the whole term. Uh, they learn about the simulation right on the first day of class. Uh, it's also a team-based uh, simulation, so they work together in teams of five. Uh, I find that this works a lot better because this allows them to have an interplay between the ideas that, that they need to have to be able to deal with this uh, very complicated uh, assignment. It's a very complicated process to develop a compensation strategy. Uh, a lot of concepts, a lot of things to apply in understanding a company, uh, and to even um, apply the software, you know, to understanding the labor market, uh, to understanding uh, what kinds of um, pay systems uh, are going to work for their particular company that they're working with. Uh, so there, there are all those kinds of issues that they that they need to deal with. The team concept I think is really important because they have to understand how they themselves as a team of consultants, which is what they um, should be thinking of themselves as, you know, how are they going to uh, create a solution for an organization uh, that deals with the problems that uh, that it faces. Well I find that students learn a lot better if they can understand the practical applications of the theories and principles that they are uh, dealing with in the class. I think many classes do teach the principles and concepts, but they leave it there. Uh, the students, uh, I think, will benefit a lot more. Certainly I did as a student, and the students tell me they do. When they, go that, uh, when they take that extra step and they then go ahead uh, and say, how is this going to work? How, is this gonna, uh, how can I apply this to solving organizational problems? How can I apply this to solving the issues that are facing the organization? How do I use these principles and concepts to come up with solutions to um, actual issues? So within that context, I think that's uh, a key aspect of the learning process. Uh, I talked about you know, engagement. Uh, I think engagement is very important if students are going to really um, come to terms with the material. Uh, one of the things that uh, I'd, I'd like to mention here is that um, this is, a lot of this is based on the University of Saskatchewan Learning Charter. Uh, this is a full version. Uh, there's also an abbreviated version that you can uh, get a hold of. Uh, and the University of uh, Saskatchewan Learning Charter emphasizes how the students and the faculty and the university uh, work together uh, as partners in learning to try and uh, achieve the best possible learning experience for students. This assignment is the major input that students provide. Now what um, they also will have to do is write a final exam uh, and that's an individual assignment and that basically uh, allows them to demonstrate the extent to which they as a student as an individual have mastered the concepts and are able to develop this kind of a system you know within the short uh, confines of a final exam. We don't have a midterm exam uh, in this class. You know, so basically the uh, project takes about half of the grades. 
uh, and uh, there's a final exam, and then there's a participation grade, because participation and active involvement in the class and in the team is a very, very important part of making this uh, successful. Well, I think the first suggestion, of course, if there is one that's already been developed, uh, simulations um, are certainly a lot of work to develop, and if you can find one that's already been developed um, and that you can uh, purchase on the market, it's been tested, uh, I think that that's really you know, a good place to start. However, uh, if you can't find one, if there hasn't been one that's been commercially developed, uh, certainly you can go ahead and start to develop one of your own.